my fellow Cubans, we are all united here to destroy the capitalist views of the United States. All the things that they have done to destroy our powerful union, we must revolt against the United States. The, the revolution must succeed over capitalist views. Now, we must unite together and become one. Victory to the revolution. The revolution must live. Come in. Mr. President, this better be important. I have much, too much work to do. We have a situation on our hands. What is it? The Cubans are all rebelling and they're riding all over Cuba. What's the status right now? Do we know what they want? We can't allow the loss of our Cuban interests. They're demanding the stop of capitalistic views on Cuban soil. What? And who's leading this rebellion? Fidel Castro. And to make matters worse, he made an alliance with Soviet leader Khrushchev. Furthermore, Mr. President, the Cubans that fled Cuba requested aid from the U.S. Air Force in order to overtake Castro. Supply them whatever they need to fight. We must do something. We need action. So communism has managed to spread even further. And now the Soviets pose a greater threat to national security. Within reach to U.S. soil, how much longer before they arm the Cubans with nuclear arsenal? God help us all. Hello? Mr. President, the Cubans are on their way. Should we send the Air Force? We can't risk American lives like this. Call back the Air Force. Suspend the mission. But sir, they're about to reach Cuban soil. Just do it. They're on their own. Yes, Mr. President. The Air Force are on this exact beach. Then once they arrive, we'll attack the Cubans right when they're most vulnerable. Okay? missile in Cuba. What's in it for me? What's in it for you? <laughs> well, for one thing, you get to defend against the U.S. and Cuba will be secure. As always, General, you always have the best ideas. Thank you for your time. No problem. Mr. President, we have a problem. What is it? One of our planes has spotted missile silos in Cuban soil. What should we do? Well, it's your options. It's not that we can attack these ships first. It had that be a declaration of war and then mutual destruction. We need to stop the ships, though, from importing anything else into Cuba. And got it. We need to make a blockade, a line of defense around Cuba. And then that'll stop the ships, and that'll force Krusevich to either retreat or strike first, and that'll sure war. They're near us. They're going to attack us across the line. across the line. The enemy is retreating.
We're agreeing to dismantle the nuclear arsenal in Turkey. And you as well in Cuba. However, the Soviet troops have to go. Troops! The troops stay! Or you try and take them out? No, we can't have another conversation. For now, the troops can stay. On October 22nd, 1962, President John F. Kennedy broadcast a special message to the nation from his office in the White House. Here is President Kennedy as he delivered that message bearing on recent events 